Okay, Redneck lies back here with Steve. Gordy as the welders. And next. Jim, I'll be recording. Redneck lies. Okay, so here we got Steve with his Millermatic 211 auto set. Thing is dual voltage. We are going to start with the 240 volt, and then we're going to move on to this uh, 110 volt outlet. It screws off right where it plugs into the extension cord down here. This big black thing. We're going to exchange it for this 110 outlet here. We are running flux core in here, and uh, we're going to be. Uh, Doing a side-by-side -side test with uh, Gordy's welder over here. Gordy, go ahead and tell him about it. My welder is Hobart Handler 140. Okay, so you got Gordy and his... 120 volt wire feed of quarter inch thick steel. I did another video on this. He also did a video on the Millimatic. You will see these on the Redneck Wise channel. Reviews on each on their own, but we're gonna do a comparison because Hobart and Miller are made by the same manufacturer. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing a uh, 140 volt versus a 110 volt, uh, the 240 Miller and the 110 Hobart, and then we're going to be doing the 110 Miller and the 110 Hobart. We are going to be doing a side by side test, seeing how they do versus each other, and seeing what they do. Okay, so what are we gonna be welding on today, guys? We're going to be welding on some of this railroad plate here that we found at the dump. Um, we have ground this nice and silver, tacked it together, and gouged it out with the grinder. What so welder did you tack this with? We tacked this with the Hobart Handler 140. Okay. All right. And how would you guys grind this down smoothly? We used our Milwaukee grinder over here. A grinder wheel. With a grinder wheel on it. Things a bit worn out. <laughs> Very worn out. I can this see. grinder has been a good old grinder for us. So we just grinded this here. I did that early before the video. Then Steve and Gordy tacked this together, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back here. We got we're on this side. It's gonna be the Miller welder doing 240 volt. On the right side, we're gonna have the Hobart welder doing 110 volt. Flip these Ooh. over. Ooh. That's Gory, the weld broke. <laughs> anyway. Wasn't a very good tack job anyways. Yeah, it just took five seconds to do that. So over on this side again, we're gonna have the Miller 110 volt. Over here, we're gonna have the Hobart 110 volt. So I'm gonna go do a little bit of grinding right now and we will tack these back together and start the video. Okay, so we got Gordy with his Hobart here. He's gonna do the bottom half from this bead down. And we're gonna have Steve do up there with his uh, Miller 240 volt. 240 volt. All right. Okay, here you go. Here goes Gordy. Here. If you want the uh, grinder, put the wire wheel on it. Nah. Right. We're gonna go our next here. We are running uh, flux cord on both of these welders here. We got the dog in the video.
feet I've ever welded. That is the uh, Hobart welder. Cleaning up the weld now. I did not have a line to follow, so it's a little bit crooked. We are going to be going on to Weldon with the Miller uh, 240 now. Okay, redneck wise, we got the Miller 240 here. Just did the bead with that one. The Miller 211, 240 bolt. Okay. All right, we're gonna make the bead with it just like we did with the Hallbart and see what it does. Ready? All right.